Okie dokies. So if you understand how to convert between millimeters and micrometers and nanometers and centimeters and kilometers or anything like that, you won't need kilometers here. Uh, you should be okay to do these calculation questions. It's pretty straightforward and uh, you just have to remember one formula and understand how to uh, rearrange the formula. So here's the whole formula written out. The magnification is equal to the size of the image divided by the size of the specimen. I like to shorten that by just doing something like this. M uh, I A for the multiplication, put a little triangle in there. So if you've done this for speed equals distance over time. It's a little triangle here. You can remember this Mia. It's either a cute name for a small Japanese person or that rapper who sings about shooting people and stuff like that. Okay, either way, M-I-A. And the idea, uh, hopefully you've seen this before, if you want to calculate the magnification, you just cover this up, cover M up, and then you get image divided by actual. If you need to calculate the image size, then it's magnification times the actual size. If you want to know the actual size, then the actual size is equal to the image size divided by the magnification. So if you know two of these things, you can calculate the third. So let's see what this question is asking. It says calculate the magnification of the following electron micrograph image. So here I have a picture. You don't even have to care exactly what the picture is showing, but for all intents and purposes here, it seems like it's a bacterial cell. I can tell that because there's a cell wall here, uh, nucleoid region, no nucleus, some ribosomes, uh, plasma membrane, all the things that are good in a bacterial cell. So here we go. I start with my formula. Magnification equals image size over the actual size. I want to calculate the magnification. So here's my unknown. Here's my unknown. Well, let's see. In order to calculate this, I need to know the image size and I need to know the actual size. So let's see what I can figure out here. Well, the image size, um, you're going to be looking at this on paper. So the image size is the actual size of the picture you're looking at. So you're going to have to measure it with a ruler. I'm going to pretend like this is on a really big piece of paper. And I'm going to assume that when I use my ruler, lay it across here. Here's, the, here's a nice tip too. This bar right here is telling you that this length, this distance from here to here, is 0 0.9 micrometers. So don't do, you don't have to do anything crazy. Just measure the bar here. Just measure the bar. The bar is being magnified here, and it's telling you the bar is actually 0 0.9 micrometers, but don't bother measuring the actual cell, just measure the actual bar. So the image size, I'm going to say I've measured it to be 9, don't forget my units, 9 centimeters. Image size, I've measured it with my ruler, 9 centimeters. It tells me that the distance that I measured with my ruler, because I'm using this bar as my, as my measurement area, is actually 0.9 micrometers okay that's a really easy calculation but look there's a problem your units are different you're gonna have to convert one of these to the same unit so let me continue this down here so let me rewrite it nine centimeters over 0 0.9 micrometers I'm gonna convert centimeters into micrometers. So I can either convert this to centimeters or convert this to micrometers. So if you watched the previous video, you should know how to do this. So I'm just gonna rewrite this, 0 0.9 micrometers. I need this unit to be micrometers. I can do some rough work at the side over here. Uh, let's see, I'm starting with nine centimeters. Here's the decimal point for nine. To go from centimeters to millimeters, that's, uh, there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so that's just one decimal place over. So I'm going to go over here, one decimal place over. And to go from millimeters to micrometers, that's a factor of a thousand. Micrometers, there's 1,000 of them in one millimeter, and every factor of a thousand is three decimal places. So if I go from here to here, now I've gone to millimeters, I need three more decimal places to go to micrometers. I'm going to go one, two, three. You can check it with the calculator any way you want. I fill in the zeros. The answer should be 90,000 micrometers. So if I type in or just write in 90,000 micrometers and do the math there, check it out. If I cancel out these units, 90,000 divided by 0 0.9, you should be able to get an answer right there just like that. Alicia Tiffany, what is 90,000 divided by 0 0.9? She says don't ask.
90,000 divided by 0 0.9. I can't figure out either. Help me, help me. I can, I, can, I can pause and edit this part of the video out, but I'm not going to. Is that right? 90,000 divided by 0 0.9. Don't worry, I did not use the student's full name. Maybe I did. Go back and listen. You can find it later. 90,000 divided by 0 0.9 is? 100,000. So look at that. Because the units have canceled out, there's no units here. So magnification, the unit, there is no unit for magnification. You can just say 100,000 times. That's how you would do that. Okay. Practice this. Go back, start from the beginning, see if you can replicate this exact same thing. Have a fantastic day. And remember, drive safely.